In this video, we're going to answer the question, can we believe in vain? And this question comes from 1 Corinthians 15, 2. So let's first start out by reading 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 2 in the Greek and in the English. In the Greek, Norizo de imin Adelphi to evangelion o ev ingalisamen imin o ke paralavete en o ke estikete di u ke sozeste tini logo ev ingalisamen imin i katehete ektos imi i ki epistevsate. Now I make known to you, brethren, the gospel which I preach to you, which also you received, in which also you stand, by which also you are saved, if you hold fast the word which I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. So first, let's take a look at the word for vain in Greek, iki, and it means without cause or ground, without basis, and therefore not to be taken seriously or considered valid, this adverb suggests what goes to no purpose. And therefore, there are two possible ways to take uh, the statement about our belief being in vain in 1 Corinthians 15 too. First, uh, we could take it to mean that there can be a problem with the quality of belief. In other words, that it is possible to believe, but not really believe, to be a believer, but not a true believer, to have a head belief, but not a heart belief. And second, there can be a problem with the content of belief. In other words, what we have believed is not true. And it is the second sense which is meant in 1 Corinthians 15 too. And thus the New Living Translation translates 1 Corinthians 15 to be as, unless, of course, you believed something that was never true in the first place. And that this second sense is in view is made clear in the context of 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 19. So let's take a look at verses 12 through 17. Now, if Christ is preached that he has been raised from the dead, how do some among you say that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there is no resurrection of the dead, not even Christ has been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then our preaching is vain, your faith also is vain. For if the dead are not raised, not even Christ has been raised, and if Christ has not been raised, your faith is worthless. So thus the problem addressed in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 19 is that some of the members of the Corinthian church were saying that there is no resurrection of the dead. And this was a common error of both the Jewish sect of the Sadducees and of Greek philosophy. For example, in Matthew 22, 23, we see on that day, some Sadducees who say there is no resurrection. Acts 23, 8, for the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection. And Acts 17, 32, now when they, the Greeks in Athens, who were at the Areopagus, heard of the resurrection of the dead, some began to sneer. It was a concept that they thought was silly. And we note that the Epicureans disbelieved in a future state. The doctrine of the resurrection was denied by every sect of the Greek philosophers. Pliny reckons it among childish fancies and calls it vanity and downright madness to believe it. Caecilius calls it a lie and places it among old wives' fables. 
and Celsus represents it as exceeding detestable, abominable, and impossible. So both among the Sadducees and among the Greek philosophers, the resurrection was something that they did not believe in. And therefore, Paul is correcting this error, that there is no resurrection of the dead, by showing that the entire Christian faith is based on the resurrection of the dead. Jesus Christ is the first fruits of the resurrection, and we will also be resurrected and be like Christ. This is the hope of the Christian church, as it says in 1 John 3, 2, Beloved, we are children of God, and it has not appeared as yet what we will be. We know that when he appears, Jesus Christ, we will be like him, because we will see him just as he is. Just as Christ received a resurrection body uh, when he was resurrected from the dead, so we also will receive our resurrection bodies, and we will be like him. So therefore, our belief can only be in vain if there is no resurrection of the dead. However, since there is a resurrection of the dead, our belief cannot be in vain. Thank you.